Hey everyone, today's video is about when someone stalks you and by because you're a manager. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Why? Why did Dwight and boss have to make her work the night shift? If she wasn't already tired from training, she'd be half dead by time her shift ended. Sure. There were somewhat less customers, and all, but that doesn't mean it's any less annoying. But then again, more creeps came out. Drunks were everywhere. Recently, there was a middle-aged man who had taken a liking to her, enough for the guy to figure out her work schedule. He would come every single time she worked striking up conversations. At first, it started out with, how are you? To, do you have a boyfriend? But now, he started to wait for her to get off work, offering to take her home. So she'd always stay longer and have the next person who clogged out to drive her home. She was beyond irritated, sick, and tired of the guy. She told her boss about it, but they told her. Just work one more week of night shift if at any time he comes up and bothers you again. Call me and I'll deal with that. Thankfully, the guy hasn't come at all in the past few days. Why Anne hadn't seen him once. So, she started to relax. Of course, all things come to an end. It was finally time to get off work. Why Anne clocked out and chained out of her uniform into some casual clothes, a baggy hoodie, and some sweats, accompanied with some snickers. Saying goodbye to her co-workers, she headed off and started walking back to the school dorms. After about a few minutes into walking, she started hearing a set of footsteps behind her. Of course, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary, there were a few people out and about. It wasn't until she got to a quarter street, with only herself and the person behind her, that she started to get nervous. She slowly started to quicken her pace, doing her best to stay calm. The footsteps behind her started to quicken as well. Soon, she saw a small convenience store up ahead. She started to run towards that entering it, and taking out her phone. Black girl sat in the long, talking to Kirishima, when he got a phone call. Huh? The all that you want. Answering it, he put the phone up to his ear. Katsuki, can you meet me at the convenience store by the park? Why the hell should I? Just do it. You hung up. What's the matter, Black girl? Kirishima asked, curiously, but all Bago did was ignore him, putting his jacket on. Arriving to the convenience store, Bago looked around to find Ryan sitting by the soda with a popsicle in her mouth. Not seeing Bago, Ryan stood up and raised off her to him. Took you long enough. What's so damn urgent you had to call me out here? He snapped. There's a weird guy following me. Who'd want to follow you? Besides, you don't look like you're so worried. Even though he sounded harsh, she knew he was concerned. A weird guy following his crush? No way in hell he would let that slide. I was hungry. And I knew that she'd come to my rescue anyways. She grinned, taking his arm. Now that you're here, I have nothing to worry about. Let's go. Walking outside... The guy stared at the two. Who are you? He questioned, frowning at the sight of Wyan, linking arms with Bago. None of your business, old man. Bago glared fiercely at the guy. Is this your boyfriend? I can treat you better. I'm a man. He's just a boy. Come with me. The guy outstretched his hand, reaching to grab Wyan's arm. Bago slapped the guy's hand away from her, 
Smiling at Tom. Don't tough her, you filthy bastard. The guy's eyes widened, wearing a back off. Listen, boy, you back off. I know long. I've got a pretty strong quirk and some friends in high places. Bagal made a dish sound, his palms crackling from the small explosions. Do this quirk. Go tell, man. Bug aimed his fist towards the guy's head, stopping right before a tet hub. The guy looked as if he'd shed his pants at any moment before running off. My hero. Wyan laughed, patting him on the back. Whatever. Bug started to walk off. Wyan, falling right beside him. Holy shit. Is that a blush? Is the Baku Katsuki actually blushing? Oh my god. Thank you guys for listening. I'll back the video. How are you guys doing? Hmm, so you guys commented some things yesterday, so I'm just gonna uh, reply to them on here. I guess. Let's start with the last one. Bago and Kirishima Semp. Cool, I'm from the UK. Oh, you're from the UK. Okay. I love UK. I want to go there. Diami Kizumi. Sarah. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Sarah is like, you're so cute. I don't know. The title. Okay, that's Carrie A S M E R. The title when you starve yourself. Literally, me eating cake. I know, right? I was just about to order a cake, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it just didn't feel like it in the end. I needed this. Thank you. By Tetsuru Kuru. First off, I love Tetsuru. Okay? Second off, thank you. Thank you. No, thank me. Thank you. You're the one who watched this. I just made it. Like, it's not a big deal. Anyway. Luna Saro, I think. Oh, love, hope you feel better. Are you drinking enough water and have enough minerals in you? If not, drink some mineral water to help. Also, I had a job interview today, and I'm pretty sure I got it, so yay. Oh, I love you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm drinking enough water. I think, like, I finish, I finish, like, I don't know, three, I mean, two glasses a day. It's not enough, but two small glasses or three small glasses, I guess. Um, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, I'm so very happy. I hope you be rich. <laughs> <laughs> that's what his dream was. Okay, I guess that's enough. I think. Well, whatever. Thank you guys for listening. Happy to the video. Goodbye.